Welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. And we are going to look at a very fateful play in the Detroit Lions game. Mm -hmm. Fourth and one, Mike McCarthy is inside Lions territory. He's, you know, got a shot at getting a first down. There's less than a minute left, or 109 left. Um, and he takes a big chance. Yeah. So show us kind of what he did here. We have a three receiver mm -hmm. set. The Lions have to worry about him running because it's fourth and one. Right. They don't want him to get and the first down. And they got a guy spying him here. And, and again, we're going to talk about a quarterback's progression, what he's looking at, what he's taught, and what he would like, okay? Flynn, just say, you know, any quarterback, I mean, any quarterback in the National Football League, fourth and one, if I get man-to-man -man immediately, Detroit – um, they didn't even disguise it. They mm -hmm. just lined up in a straight man to man. So in my, for the first thing I want to do is find out where 85 is, which I would know, and I want to know where all my playmakers are, right? So I'm thinking to myself, I don't want to predetermine where I want the ball to go. Mm -hmm. I also know this fourth and one, right? And I know that I want to win the game. So the moxie of quarterback sometimes is to always win the game. Well, what happens is driver just destroys this guy and goes in the flat, mm -hmm. wide open, right. wide open. Now, Flynn could go there. Now, now one thing about this end came up here, as you pointed out, and, you know, Clifton had him. So the, maybe the window, okay, he couldn't really see he it. He might have thought he might have had to step up to make right. the throw. Right, and, and I get that. Okay. So, to me, the ball went where it was supposed to go. Greg Jennings came in, worked that guy like a drum, mm -hmm. wide open. All he has to do, Tom, is make a, a throw with a little bit more air, touchdown, he's the hero. Right. But instead, he puts a little flat. Who throws flat balls? Aaron Rodgers. He doesn't put a lot of air on it. Those are real quick, nice, crisp passes. Again, like we talked about earlier, five questions. Mm -hmm. Aaron didn't slide. He did this so the one thing about it, Aaron would probably never make this throw either. But Aaron would make this throw. Yeah, and he, it would, would, he would hit this throw. Yeah. It would be a touchdown. Now over here, now again, say this is all messed up. Mm -hmm. Qualis worked this guy. He was wide open. That's your easiest throw. Mm -hmm. Okay? To this side, too far. Here's your easiest throw. Jones, my boy, yeah. beats this guy. So he got his choices. Okay, Jackson steps up. Good protection. Yeah, yeah, this guy just hangs right here. Yep. He's sort of spying. You know, these two guys block here. The protection here. was guy pretty here. good. Yeah, protection was very good. Safety you know. was right here, very shallow. Normally, yeah. safety is a little deep and they can overlap. But, and he just missed the throw. Yeah. He missed the throw. Now, one thing real quick, Tom. A lot of people, was, um, why don't you run the ball? Mm -hmm. No running game. They tried to run the ball, lost Third two yards. One, yeah. They tried to or, um, so, second and two. Second and two, right? And they got one yard. So if I'm McCarthy, look, I'm not going to even deal with the running game right now because my offensive line obviously is not playing well. Yeah. But that's the throw. Yeah, that's the throw. You got to hit. But if you're a little uncertain about it, right? You know, I think These he could have stepped up. Yeah, yep. and hit this, and mm -hmm. driver would have got out of bounds. You know, and yep. they would have been able to. You know, get a new set of downs, and who knows? Maybe now, previous to that, you talked about a play. The driver came here. Yeah, that was on third and one third, play before that. Wide open, and the ball just kind of slipped out of his hand. Driver would have scored. Yeah, there was a safety here, a corner here. Right. And then Nelson had the corner here. Right. And if he hits him here, I honestly, looking at the tape, thought he might have been able to go like this and score. And score. You know, follow right. Nelson's block. And I think and you're score. right. But Flynn just overthrew it, you know, and that's what you get with a backup quarterback. Well, yeah. Motor but he gun. has to make that throw. If you're going to be have the guts enough to make it, to uh -huh. throw it, you got to make it. Yeah. It's fourth down. It's not five. Fourth. Right. Or, you know what, a good quarterback will say, you know what, I got plenty of time. This secondary is not that good. I can make the easy throw here or here and see what happens. Right. Get the ball to my athletes. Yep. All right. Next, we're going to look at a uh, New England play, and You're gonna some love of the Packers play. are going to have to <laughs> yeah. have to watch out for. Right. 
Okay, we're going to look at this New England play, and this, this to me is the beauty of Tom Brady, and, and not only Tom Brady, but the play caller, because mm -hmm. this was the perfect play for the perfect, you know, for the defense that was called. It was, it I was. mean, it was, it was, it was Brady's uh, uh, surgeon, you know. So let's start out. Basically what we got is a th three simple, three wide receiver set, tight end. They got two tight ends, Tom, the two rookies are unbelievable. Yeah, they got some. Wow. Two different type. One's a big yeah. guy. Yeah, one then, guy's a little nifty. And one other guy's quick. And we've got a running back in the back. Okay, so um, at the snap, we've got some stuff drawn here. Basically what happened was it was a play action. Right. You know, the running back comes here, Brady fakes the handoff, and just kind of comes here. And why don't you go from there, what exactly happened here? Yeah, see, the problem with this play, and the, and the Bears are in sort of a nickel defense. Mm -hmm. Now, the Packers run the same defense, but instead of ends, it'll be linebackers. And then you have two big guys in mm -hmm. here, and you have two linebackers. Now, this would be Woodson. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a 21 there, right. okay? Now, so you got you have Shields man-to-man -man on a branch. Now, the key to this whole entire play is Woodson has to play the run, and he has to play man. Mm -hmm. So the problem is... This guy from Chicago, once he saw the play fake, he just takes off running in there. Wes Oracle steps up, come back like you have, and there's a quick throw. Once Brady yeah. turns his back, throws here, now you got your two guys pulling out with the screen. Right. Well, let's let's show what we were doing here. Okay, so right. this guy blitzes. This yep. tackle just lets, this is Peppers. Julius just let Peppers, him go. Just let him go right yep. at Brady. Yep. Right up the field. You know, he knows Peppers is going up the field. Right. That's what he does. Yep, you just let him go. The tackle comes out, come out. The guard comes out. And now you got two big guys behind one of your, your obviously your best player on offense. Yeah. And he has a lane right there for some big yardage. And the problem with this is, again, the nickelback. That's Woodson. He has to keep his eyes. Once he sees his run, he got to throw his eyes right there. Now, once you the guy blocks you, all you have is contained anyway. You can never fold in there. You got enough guys in there. You got one, two, three, four, five, six guys. They don't need you in there. Mm -hmm. Unless it was a blitz to where the end is up, you come underneath. That's different. They just got you. Now well, this you safety, could see him hesitate. He watched yes. to see if it was going to be right. As soon as he saw the name of the quarterback, he right, took off. Right. And normally, when you see the name of the quarterback, you take it easy. It could be play action. Okay. So it's, it's just caution. When he turns his back, sticks the ball in there, come back. Because they have another play, same formation, same exact formation, play action, but Wes Worker, he'll come up, he'll come right in the middle right there, and it's touchdown. So it's all about Woodson. If he can control 83, the Packers have a good chance of winning. That's a good segue to the three keys to victory. Make sure you stay tuned to that. But this is their go-to guy. They got rid of Moss yeah. for whatever reason. No deep threats, but for some reason, Branch, 59 yards against Chicago, wide open in a cover two. But this is an awesome play right here. Yeah, and you know what? It's We've got it kind of muddled here, but what's right. amazing to me is that, you know, he knows. I mean, it's a perfect play for this guy to blitz. Yep. It clears everything out. It's almost like they studied the Bears so closely. Yep. They knew exactly what this guy was going to do mm -hmm. when they did a play action. And that's going to be the key for Don Capers is that's to right. go against his tendencies. And this is what New England would do. This is what a very well coach. They'll shift it, take the tight end off. He'll shift up. This guy gets on. The tight end will shift over here. Wes Welker will come in motion. And they'll do it on this side. Mm -hmm. If Woodson doesn't follow him, a wide open for a touchdown. Right. So Woodson would follow him and they'll do it on this side. So from the Packers, I'm going to study this formation, what they like to do in it, and they can always flip flop it. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes they'll get in three, you know, trips, what we call it, and leave Shields man to man on their second or best wide receiver and take their chances against the rookie. Yeah, and I'll tell you, if I'm the Packers, I'm leery about blitzing uh, Woodson right. after seeing that. Because right. There. If they're going to do it, Charlie Pepper has to be on key with 83. Right. And that's what the New England Patriots want. Right, right. And, you know, maybe this is Collins, too, if this is uh, weak. Remember side, I said before, I never liked Collins and Woodson traveling together. 
too much power on one side. Okay. I'd rather have 36 over here. Right. But that doesn't always happen. Right. I'd rather have 36 here, 21 here. I don't like when they travel together. Right. And we're not going to see, I, th I don't think we'll see Tremont Williams on Welker unless he's no. outside because no. Tremont Williams really isn't a slot corner. He's right. What he does best is plays the, right. plays the edge, correct? Right. Absolutely. That's a good point. Because you don't, and plus, you don't want him in the trash. You need him to intercept passes. Tom Brady's going to throw the ball 35 times. Right. That's what they do best. But they get little screens like this to frustrate you. That's part of the running game. Because remember, they don't have a running game either. Right. But who cares? Yeah. They don't rely on their quarterback. This is going to be a huge game for Woodson, I think. Yes. You know, he can, he can have an impact on the game because he's going to have to play the run some. And he's right. going to have to control Welker. Well, he would somehow. definitely be one of the three keys to victory. So make sure you make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, and we'll be back next week with uh, another X's and O's.